what's up everyone, I have a question for you guys for today. Do you ever have an iPhone or iPod with you that you just need a backup to iTunes in case it needs to be restored? Well that's exactly the same way for a computer. And I'm going to show you guys how to back it up. First you're going to need a certain device which I recommend, just in any ordinary external hard drive that contains enough space to hold the same space as your computer, or even more. I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what I recommend. I have a Seagate external hard drive, and that is this thing that I'm holding directly in front of you. And you can also look at the back to see like all the other information. It is right here. Just go onto their website and you can copy down this model number. So it also comes apart, I mean, once you get this Seagate, but I recommend that you not take it apart because it can really damage something. I'm not sure, but I would not risk it. It also comes with this cord that you can connect this with your computer when you're backing it up. On one end, it has a little port that you would put in your computer, or sorry, 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 this would go into the hard drive, and you would plug it into this slot right here, and it would go in like that. And the other end would be to put in the US port of your computer. And I will get back right back to you guys once I have this set up. And once you guys have it up, please resume the video. I'll be back shortly. Hello, we are back on my desktop, and my external hard drive, Seagate, is connected. And from here I'll show you what to do for your very first time. Uh, your antivirus may bl block a few things, but that's okay, just ignore them. Go to your local disk E drive. I'm assuming you might have some of the same things that I do, like the local disk E drive and stuff and go straight to your Seagate dashboard installer. Now, this is your choice, this is optional, but I highly recommend that you download and install the Seagate dashboard, and you go through all those steps. Once you're done, just open up the Seagate dashboard, wherever it may be, and open it up. And see, it says a few things there of, of what it does. But now you're back into the Seagate dashboard, and um, and if you've downloaded the same external hard drive as I did, I have one terabyte of space, which is a lot. And from here, if you want to back your PC up, back up your PC, you want to click PC Backup. And, well, I've already done this. Uh, so far today, but you just click on backup now, and that will back up. Now it may take a few hours if it's your first time. Don't panic, just let your computer do its thing. If you're on vacation, then just I recommend just uh, backing up your computer whenever you have a lot of time. And then once you have a lot of time, just let it back up, uh, drink some coffee, and just let it back up. Now after your first time, it may take up to half an hour depending on how many changes you made to your computer and I mean after your first time you're basically all good. Just make sure you back it up frequently so you you, you have it up to date on your files and um, I am hoping that your computer is safe from after backing it up. So thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, please rate, comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful. If you have any questions, just ask me in the description below. Or just ask me below and I will reply to you as fast as I can. Also note that I have added a subscribe annotation. So it's a shortcut to subscribe to me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.